What's going on here tonight? Tonight, this is community and police, you know, clergy coming together. Um, showing that sense of, uh, you know, connectivity, uh, trying to talk about some of the things that are affecting our community. Um, I was just at a conference last week about reducing gun violence in Virginia and trying to see what other cities do throughout the country that we can bring back here. And this is one of the things that we talked about. Uh, police, community, clergy working together, getting to know one another, getting to know people in your neighborhoods. Um, you know, they always say if you, if you, um, you know, if, if you get people's hearts, their minds will follow. And that's this is what this is about. You know, it's about having, you know, uh, Pastor McReynolds does a great job of getting his church involved in the community and taking his congregation beyond the four walls of the church out into the community. And that's what we're getting ready to do. Go out and hit the street, hit the pavement, go door to door, talk to residents, see what they like in the community, see what we can do better. And it's about a sense of community. Well, that's my message to the community. You know, we want people to come to Rochester and who live in Rochester, go out and have a good time. And what we've been seeing the last couple of weekends, particularly on Saturday nights, is individuals coming downtown in the Eastern District and creating chaos, so to speak, for lack of better words. And what we have done, we have worked with the business partners in that area, um, and the business partners in the area, to try to come up with some plans. Uh, we have increased police presence down there on the weekends. So right now, we're in a stage where we're trying to see what works. Uh, like I said, we have a lot of people down there, um, and we want people to come out and have a good time. What's increased police presence mean? Is that kind of throughout the night? Is that kind of when the bars are letting out? Kind of what does that mean? Well, it's, it's throughout the night. Particularly, we've been having the issues around the 12 30 to 2 in the morning time frame. Particularly when the bars are letting out. We've seen some uh, disputes occur, uh, fight, fighting occur. Uh, so, we've been trying to make a real effort to really try to prevent some of that uh, activity that we've been seeing down in the Eastern District. And it's been a collaboration between, you know, community, bar owners, as well as, you know, the Russian Police Department. Um, and what we've been trying to do is just try to prevent people from going out there and creating chaos. So due to the increased police presence, we have, uh, we did make an arrest down here. This weekend we did have a police, um, we did have an individual go down there and for some reason decided to let off some rounds from a firearm, right? Uh, officers were in the, area, in the area immediately and the officers did make the arrest of that individual. He was charged appropriately, he was charged with possession of a weapon or reckless endangerment. You know, obviously when you have someone down in that area letting off rounds, it's not safe for anyone. It's not safe for, you know, even police officers to be down there at, the, at that point. But, you know, the police officers did a great job. Um, they responded quickly and no one was hurt, thankfully. Um, but the officers did do a great job of trying to apprehend that individual who was responsible. And, you know, we're concerned about crime no matter where it happens. You know, I know it's been a particular point of concern for many people in the East End District, uh, but we're concerned about crime no matter where it happens. And as a result, we have increased our presence down there in the Bar District because we want people to come to Rochester and have a good time. And that's the whole goal there. Even with the last week, we've taken more guns off the street. You know, it just goes to show that there are a lot of guns that are out there. The officers are working hard. They're working with the community community, providing information. Um, so that's what I, I, I'm pleased about that. Um, but we still have a sense of sort of entitlement of individuals in this community who still want to go out there and possess a firearm and are not afraid to use it. And my message to them is that we're going to do everything possible to make it uncomfortable for you, to arrest you, and to hold you to the fullest extent of the law.